Okay, I had a couple of questions on heat exchanger cleaning uh, of some of these older uh, draft hood type furnaces. Now, this is an RGDA Reed Room, Rude, uh, and it has a uh, uh, draft hood or draft diverter right here. Um, and I'm going to simulate this problem, then I'm going to show you how you would clean the heat exchanger in one of these things. Now this one does have a protective device for uh, flame roll up because this thing is going to roll its flame out the front uh, and it will shut it down although there could be some pretty heavy damage before that thing actually does shut down. Okay if you look closely on this thing and I'll zoom you in there right there in the center that thing with the little button on it that is a rollout switch so if flame rolls out the front of that thing it's a manual reset switch and it will shut off the uh, burner so I'm gonna do a flame rollout on this I've got the heat exchanger plugged so you can see what happens okay it is lit now the burners will be coming on right quick Okay, you can see the flame rolling out there. Okay, it has safety out. It's because it was not receiving flame sense through that hot surface igniter. Remember, the hot surface igniter is a flame sensor in this thing. Uh, it's going to try again. Okay, you can see you got it going there. Okay, as you have seen, uh, it has uh, rolled out quite a bit there. Probably enough to possibly damage this valve. It did get pretty hot. Um, but it finally did kick off this little uh, switch right here. That uh, the manual reset rollout switch. So let's take a look at the heat exchanger and what we would do to clean it. Okay, we're going to take this cover off. There's a couple of screws on top, I've already taken them off. Uh, this is the draft hood itself. And we're going to pull it off. There's a screw here, screw there, a couple of screws up there. We're going to pull those off and we're going to take a look inside. Okay, this is your heat exchanger tubes here. These are the baffles. The problem arises where the baffles come right to here. And I mostly have seen this in furnaces that were in laundry rooms. And when the, uh, uh, the gas is burned, there's a lot of dust in it, and some of the dust ends up being deposited right here. It's real simple to clean these up. Okay. Here I've got one of them loose, nice scrapey thing. The edges along here, this one doesn't look too bad, but once you pull these out, uh, you should go in inside. Okay, once that uh, baffles out of there, uh, take a tree brush, a long skinny brush, something like that, and just thoroughly uh, uh, brush in there and that should probably take care of it make sure there's no cracks you're looking for cracks while you're always looking for cracks in heat exchangers or rust out spots or something like that uh, but uh, 
do that and after you're done cleaning that up all that crap's going to fall down on the burners and I had a little one earlier on burners uh, clean the burners in this thing uh, clean the burners after you clean this uh, put it all back together if everything's good you're back in business and that's heat exchanger cleaning on the old draft hood style furnaces uh, most of these things like I say I'm working on a lot of these older furnaces just to kind of show what what the earlier ones were like a lot of these are dead now they've had heat exchanger problems and the like but I've got a furnace that I'll be working on here right quick that's 45 years old and it still doesn't have a busted heat exchanger so uh, a lot of them will last a long time maybe they'll last longer than they should last because uh, there's higher efficiency equipment out there anyway that's cleaning the heat exchanger